G'day YouTube, it's Bela Mage again, and today we're going to do a little video on how we have infinitely sustained burials, farmed ourselves a headhunter in about 5 days of mapping, and uh, these are burials at tier 14. So, there's one thing you should know before trying to do this. Uh, I only got the headhunter about 20% of this level ago, so we didn't need that, we didn't use it. We, we used this method to farm the headhunter, so we absolutely didn't need that. What you do need is a character powerful enough to clear fully juiced tier 14s at speed. So if you're a slow map clearer, if you can't regularly make it to the boss room without the fog disappearing, this might not be as profitable and it may end up being more profitable to orb your maps or to run something else. But... Provided you can clear tier 14s quick enough, we're going to go over what we did and how we maintained what we did for money. First of all, we used a very strict loot filter to the point where my scours, Val orbs, chisels, alterations, everything is turned off. If it's not worth at least a raw, like a raw chaos currency tier, it's turned off. All the gear is turned off. All the temple gear is turned off. All of the incursion gear is turned off. I have everything turned off. This is not one of my publicly available filters. This is not something most people will want to use during normal play. But if you're like really buckling down to get a headhunter or to farm up a lot of currency or to accidentally make it to level 100, which is apparently what I'll be doing um, today on stream because we accidentally made it to like 80% of the way through 99. So I guess we're just going to finish that off. Then this is, this is the method we want to use. The, the least amount of stuff showing to still turn a profit. So, we'll start with the Atlas. So, for most of it, I was not running like this. I was running like this. Now, what this does, and I had Lair favorited. Now, I was farming Lairs to sell in bulk at the same time as maintaining Burial Chambers. Now this works only with two zones active and I cannot tell you why but if you drop this zone and have only this zone with tier 14s uh, you get less burial returns and only garbage tier 15s and I don't know why but it that's what happens and it happens over and over again. So what we've done is we've lowered our awakening level to awakening level 5 and we have made sure by typing tier 14 here that we've taken out the minimum amount of stones we can from every area to have no tier 14 showing up at all anywhere except this read or burials and one other region for me that was for the most part lair which i had favorited um i've moved over to toxic just to see if that's doable or not but i've only done like three maps with that setup so don't 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 copy that yet we had Lair favorited at tier 15 and we had the ability to drop these 14s and then we only had this area fully watchstoned. Now that that let us farm conquerors, still kill them. It's important to remember to put all of your watchstones back in and kill awakener at awakener 8 all of the time, which you get many many of while farming burials because they're all fully watchstones. Now, I was using three unique watchstones. Now only two of these are important. I use the third one because I like it. You do not need it. The two that are important are Booming Populance and Territories Unknown. So this adds a random suffix. That's important that it's not the add a random prefix one because the random prefix one can be reflect and then you walk in and die. Quick, ask me how I found that out. Um, so don't use, use only that one. Territories Unknown and Booming Populance. Now those will add pack size and an extra suffix um i've been using war amongst the stars for extra packs of shaper and elder mobs throughout the map i think it's worth it but that part is not needed uh, and then just a regular watchstone for the last one what is important is to not run these ones which i was using to begin with that had plus one to level of area um also yeah, territory watchstones as well, plus one to level of area. You can't be in a tier 15, because if you're in a tier 15, you will drop way less 14s and you will not be able to maintain. So we are after not raising the level and only running it at its normal tier on the Atlas, which is tier 14. All right. Now, we fully sextant these. 
I do not double check what the sextant rolls are. I'm not trying to line up special sextants. I will roll over masters and I will roll over ghosts and I will roll over fizz, um, extra fizz monsters because I don't like them because of the proximity bubble. But otherwise I will just put anything on them. Absolutely anything. Whatever the sextant rolls, that's what you use. Again, best sextants only. Awakening sextants only. Now, how do we go about rolling maps? So I have a strategy to roll maps and a strategy to run maps that I'm going to go over right now. Uh, I'm going to do it with only six maps, although I would normally roll all of the maps I currently have all at once, but we're going to do it with six just to be quicker for the video purpose. So I have also set up my map rolling tab with only needing four. So I only need to successfully hit four of these maps. Uh, we'll go over that right now. So first of all, I will drop all of my maps, usually three or four columns worth, into one tab. We will scour them all to make them normal. You can type normal in here and it will highlight the normal maps. And then you can know what needs to be scoured. So you scour every other map in your entire tab. Then you can type 20 in here and it will phase them all out when they don't have quality. And you can go around and chisel until all of them are highlighted and then they're all 20. And now this part will be different for every single uh, build, but the premise is the same. I can't run reflect and that's the only thing I can't run. So whatever you cannot run on your build, that's what we're looking for. So I type reflect and if something has reflect, I scour it. And then I just go out and I look for anything that's 80 plus because I know I can run the rest of them. Right. And I just pull them out like that. And then I scour and then I go again. And we didn't hit reflect. We can tell because we've got reflect there. If you've got more than one thing you can't run, like if you can't run, you know, cannot leech, you'll have to look for that and then look for reflect every time. That'll be build dependent, whatever build you're on. So we just keep rolling these until everything hits 80 plus. Now, usually when I get down to the last few and what I'm going to do right now, you see both of these hit reflect. Usually when I get down to the last two, I start chaos spamming them because I'm lazy. It's not necessarily the most cost efficient one, but it's much faster when I've got them in big bulk. I do the elk scour thing. And when there's a few left, I will chaos spam them until they all hit 80, right? Then what I'll do is I will drop all of my currency back into the stash tab. And I will drop all of the maps back in. I'll do another pass to make sure reflect doesn't exist. Right? I will pull out beyond maps. If there are any, there aren't any this time. But if there were, I would pull them out to keep them separate. And then I will val all my maps. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Now, what you want to look for is when you're done burial you type burial chambers because you will lose some of the maps they will become other things so i will just pull them in drop them in to my tab i consider them lost that's not important i pull out my unid'd ones you'll have to run some of them but you don't have to run all of your unid'd ones usually you will get back enough that you will have uh you know most of your run tab full of regular maps and then only a few unid'd then keep your unid's separate. Whenever I roll an unid'd 30% quant sextant, I will just swap in some unid'd maps. And that's nice. Um, I also have a reflect tab over here, which I just keep juicy reflect maps in. And if I hit a players cannot take reflect damage, I will just swap in three of these maps and run them. Um, I've also been personally keeping a beyond tab for when I got a headhunter, which is now, so that I could have a bunch of beyond and double beyond maps, but that is not important. You do not have to do that. You only do that if you're over sustaining, which you will be, but that's fine. Uh, right, so then my run tab. Now, for the sake of this video, I have filled up this area with sacrifice fragments. Uh, that is just to block it in so that you can see how it works. I would normally have none of these in, but I would have the cards. The cards or any, these could all be sacrifice pieces instead. Whatever you've got to fill in these exact gaps in a normal tab. 
will help you run maps far more efficiently now again just for the sake of these videos this sacrifice fragment tab is here so that i can use only four maps instead of 12 but i will normally roll packs of 24 maps and have them finished at the same time so other than sextants and varling and 80 percent quant you should be running a full map device so five slots is ideal if you don't have five slots go and run a four-way legion encounter kill all of the bosses in there once it doesn't matter how well you do almost any build can do that you've got like three and a half or five minutes or something like that so that is one of these legion encounters with four legions get that that will get you a five slot map device every map you run should be full so the ones i've been running is metamorph rusted elder divination cards and rusted ambush now rusted's only because they're cheaper but which cut ones you run is not as important you do not have to copy what i'm doing i don't even think metamorph adds extra monsters i just like the indicator um if you're unlucky like me and you just never get doctors in the entire time i've been doing this for like six days i've had like one drop they're they're almost irrelevant to my currency making i'm making currency just off running the map i'm not getting lucky i'm not getting doctors so if you're unlucky like me you can get rid of the divination card scarabs you can run breach you can run parandus you can run shaper or elder but you should definitely have shaper or elder whichever one is cheaper either shaper or elder scarabs run those do not run beasts because they stop you from putting masters on your map do not run reliquary scarabs because they're garbage do not run tormented spirits do not run nico so you can do metamorph legions the, the ambush parandus um I, I really liked running cartography scarabs at the beginning because that helped me like booster up my amount and, and they're also very cheap you can run breaches you can run divination cards once you're over sustaining um elder instead of shaper you can't do both um you can run harbinger it's fine any of those buy them in bulk buy them by the exalt you will make back money now the reason we're set up like this is because as i drop all of my scarabs into my tab you will notice that they all set themselves up if i could count they all set themselves up in little rows to run and so normally i would have all 12 on this side and i would do 12 maps 12 scarabs of each kind and they would fill the entire row and then i would jump over here and i would pick up a bunch of sextants and i will drop sextants in and you'll see they drop in to those little bits right there and that tells me when I take this row, I'll go do, 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 and that row is when I need to resextant, right? So now, now once I set up my map tab, all I do is I go click, 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 and I oh, I hit a sextant row. I need to put sextants on, and then I will do that, and then I will run roll another twelve and put them in the other side, and so these cards are nothing, not important. They can be fragments. They can be anything. They just need to block this little bit of your stash tab and then you can run you can roll and collect the materials for 24 maps put them in a single tab and then just run them all back to back you just you just take a row run it take a row run it take a row oh i hit sextants i'll put sextants on again uh the only other important thing is to make sure you keep an eye on your watchstones because when you use the last use of a watchstone it will disappear when it launches the map meaning you can't drop burials again because they're all of a sudden tier 11 instead of tier 14 so you do need to pay attention to those and when they run out replace them with another one um make sure you keep that up all of the time um burials favorited 115 favorited in another region it seems to have worked best with lair again try and pick a tier 15 either you want to run or that sell in bulk not that sell for the highest price right because you can you can get there are a lot of tier 15s that'll sell for seven or eight chaos 
but people only want one or two of them at a time we don't want to be stopping for one or two you know 16 chaos trades we don't want to do that we want somebody who wants to buy 25 maps but not very often so we want maps people are running in bulk and lair is one of them it's really good for splinters so some people are running layers so we're maintaining layers and the burial chambers at the same time and then we are selling layers now i have a sell tab for layers down here which gets sold relatively regularly i'm currently selling 26 maps for an exalt um that might change to 27 if you're wondering how to do that just put it on set exact price and then and then copy that exact thing right there price one exalt for 26 maps or one exalt for 28 maps or whatever it ends up being i may have to lower this because layers are going down a bit but it doesn't really matter it just there's no point in not having them because you over sustain them if you don't have a favorited tier 15 what will end up happening is you get a lot of garbage tier 15s that you end up picking up that you're never going to sell because they don't sell in bulk so you might as well have at least a map that people like running that will let you collect and sell in bulk like this um alternatively if you've got a tier 15 you really enjoy running you can have that set up too but what is important is that only one other zone can possibly have tier 14s available so we've got the burial and the lair set up but you don't have to be there it could be anywhere else on the atlas as long as there's only one other zone that is the important part and then again anytime you are running maps your map device should be full always full i know that the outlay of buying all of these things you have to buy a bunch of watchstones and then you have to buy a bunch of scarabs in bulk and then you might need to buy a bunch of sextons and like these all sound like they're going to cost you money but even if it's the last bit of money you have to get all of this stuff prepared by the time you finish running this tab you will have made back four to five times the amount of money that it cost you to get everything ready so do not copy the scarabs that i have exactly they don't actually matter what matters is that there are scarabs and that most of them add monsters um, again the divination card one you should only start using once you're well over sustaining you should start with the cartography scarab it is very very cheap you can just use a rusted if the polished are cheap buy them that's fine buy them in bulk but any scarab that adds mobs to your map and is not a master mission einhar is no good you can put master missions on on the bench and you should be so not a master mission one but adds mobs it is important that you have either shaper or elder it does not matter which one whichever one is cheaper and then just extra mobs in any any fashion these are the ones i'm using but in any fashion it doesn't matter if you like breaches if you like parandus if you like legion it, it doesn't matter whichever ones you like running put them on it only matters that you're adding mobs to the map always you should be using all of these beast ones all of the jun ones and all of the i don't know what the alva that's the one all of the alva ones in tier 14s all three of them zana you only want to use on tier 15 maps so do not throw zanas on your tier 14 maps you only want to use them in 15s or 16s so that you can get guardians and guardian fragments out of them and uh we're not using nico at all so they're just piling up for me to run later in the league when i want to delve uh this allowed me to start with well i am currently running a herald stacking build so it was very very expensive to get running which means when i started i had nothing no currency left obviously you don't have to be running a build this powerful just anything that can do a tier 14 is fine but it means i had nothing and in five days of infinitely farming burial chambers i bought a headhunter have 41 exalts and 1200 chaos left and an assortment of other currencies a bunch of awakener orbs a few specific uh what do you call them crusader or with these things i don't know what they're fucking called um a whole bunch of delirium orbs i'm not even using um it is also important to note that i've been selling simulacrums i've just had them in bulk 
for 135 chaos each sometimes they'll lower it to 130 it depends on how the market's going honestly even if there were only 100 chaos each this is a very 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 good source of money um it is also profitable to buy your simulacrums and run them even at this price so that's another sort of up to you thing if you enjoy running the simulacrums then do mapping infinite burial sustains for a day or two collect a bunch of sims then run them for a day that's also fine you'll still make money the important part is spend the least amount of time in your hideout and juice the shit out of your maps and have your atlas set up correctly as long as you follow all of those things you will be able to infinitely sustain tier 14 burials on your own and you will make a lot of currency all right this is a longer video than normal so i apologize I am Mailer Mage and I will see everybody later.